Hello everyone. So in this one we are going to talk about something called infinite scrolling and this is a very nice feature which you are going to learn in this video. So let's get started without any review. So if you can see my screen right now. So currently what we are going to do here is we will have something called use infinite query and whenever you click on this load more button new data will be added and each data which you see here will be added you know on the base of uh, pagination okay so what i will do is let's get back to our code and let's beautify it so what we do is first and foremost let's have a call or uh, use query or uh, use infinite query in, uh, infinite query from our react query itself so once you have called it now it's time to use it so what we do is I rewrite it so you can call it as uh, my infinite query and you can then use it use infinite query and here just like how we using normal queries it do accept and query key let's call it as heroes or the next thing what we have if you remember that's called the query function which is nothing but it accepts an async function and we have this uh, and by default if we don't know uh, this one where we go um, uh, by default the json web server automatically supports pagination out of box so let's see if i show you the post currently we can see all the post but let's say if you want to limit the post you can always use this but let's say if you want to add a pagination right then what we do is we can type here and we can write let's say the page number one and then page number of two so this by default comes with pagination so what we do is we take it here and instead of writing the page number one hard coding we will add it dynamically now the next portion comes here how we will actually add this page params to add that what we need is something called get next page params which accepts two value one is called last page uh, which actually doesn't need to right now then something is called pages which actually contains a list of pages which we will be using shortly now once we have added this now the next thing what we have to do is we have to return a value which will actually send inside the page params so we can you know fetch new queries whenever we click on that button so let's say we have this pages right so what we will do is pages uh, we will first uh, we will first check that whether um, this pages dot length is less than the total amount of pages possible pages which we can have so currently if you see on each page we are having a limit of two so currently we can have a total number of page which is less than three if it is else we will return a by default value of called undefined now when we return undefined we pass the default value of zero but when the pages length is this then what we do is we return the pages dot length that's one now once we are done with this now the next thing is whenever you use get next param or, or get previous param you have option to do more hops uh, uh, like two more bulls so like if i click on has next page like it will not come up here sorry if you want it will come up here so what we can do is if we have if we have my infinite query has a next page if it doesn't have then i will disable the load more button else it will be enabled but now remember one thing whenever we get the data from this type of hooks here that time it's no more the same 
this time we are getting a different type of response which I will show you very quick and so whenever it's loading let's return h1 tag and loading so this time that our data object will contain something called data and page params so let me just show you very quick so it's loading so let's check what is the error so data is not defined so we have to take out the data to take out the data let's add it like this and let's see fetch next page so fetch next page is an also one of the important thing which i forgot to discuss so fetch next page basically allows you know to call this function again and add our new items to the pages and this new item are getting called by this every time when we add a new page so we have to click this and call our fetch next page so whenever we click on this this thing will be called so now what we do is now let's see our screen so currently as you can see by default our page param is null and we have fetched the first uh, object value now let's go to the network tab so it's currently limit 2 and page 0 if i click on load more now the page limit equals to 2 and page is equals to 2 but i think it should be 3 1 so i think we did some mistake so this one will be page params this one now if i just reload it let's keep it default and now let's see so each time I click on this a new data is getting called if I did this if Batman begins and then uh, uh, this so once we have our all data till you know Mr. Ghost which you can see ghost and mr hulk and then we have ricky and batman and then we have spider-man and mr x so we have all our data here with all the ids and starting from this so we have uh, null two and three ignore this let's not get confused with this okay so once we have all of this now i think now i think we can start it we can start the initial value with one itself so now if i do a reload by default it fetches the first page one when i click on load two it fetches the second post and same it does for the last so yeah this is how it works so if you want you can render it uh, and show it more good like if you want you can do it like this so what I will do is, as I said, it has something called pages and it has something called page params. So what I will do is, I will just uh, go with the page params dot data dot pages dot map. Then I will go with the group, which has an ID, okay. And then I will basically return the group dot map the group dot map and then I will go with the data and I will return and list which actually contains what which actually contains this object so I will go to the data and I will type the title and as you can see we have everything here so what i do let me just show you a last demo of it with everything removed nothing left so initially we have x-men and spider-man if i click on load more we have batman and rocky 
and then we have Hulk and Ghost Rider. So this was about the demo. Do let me know if you need any help. Thank you guys for watching.